What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Tuesday to you guys. All right, guys, so I have my outdoor setup here, and today I'm going to be cooking my dinner outdoors right outside of the van. But before I get into that, I have a couple of things to update you guys on. First is my T-shirts with Teespring. Uh, I went on to my account, and they have a chat button now that you can actually talk to someone right away. I spoke with them through chat and they literally told me that the reason why it's taking so long for me to get my orders is that they have a new print company that they are working with and that's basically the uh, the hold up because they're trying to get everything integrated with that new print company. They did tell me that my orders should be shipped to me in between March the 23rd and 28th. Um, I did ask them to ship it to my UPS address and uh, PA instead of here since I'm leaving here on Sunday. So that is that. Um, I thought I had something else to share with you guys, but it skipped my mind right now. But if it comes to me during the course of me fixing dinner, I'll let you guys know what it is. So today, guys, I am going to be fixing some salmon with some potatoes and broccoli and a aluminum foil and an aluminum foil packet. And I'm going to be using this Gotham indoor smokeless grill that's what they said they, right here it says no oil or butter needed on top of this grill but i'm going to put some oil inside of the packet yep grill food on your stove virtually smokeless just add water to dip to drip tray add the water to the drip tray so I did use this one other time. I had this thing probably two years and only used it like once. All right, so we have a potato here. We have a potato, some salmon. The salmon has this butter in there, so I don't need like lemons and all of that stuff. I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper on the salmon and that's gonna do it. And I have some broccoli that I'm going to get out the fridge when the time comes. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get this potato peeled. I had a, uh, uh, what is it, a peeler, a potato peeler. I don't know where it went. So I'm just going to have to use this little paring knife. and cut the potatoes out. I have some heavy duty uh, aluminum foil that I'm using. I had this potato for a minute, so I hope it's okay. <laughs> well, you can tell when you had a potato for, for so long, the stems and stuff start growing out. Now I don't know why the sun is following me. I had y'all in a, a good place. So I'm going old school with it, old school. Chop these potatoes up in small pieces.
and I'm going to go and run some water on them in a few minutes. Sorry about that. I was looking for something that I didn't have to really clean to run some water in these uh, on these potatoes. So I found this little cup here. Be right back. All right, guys, I finished rinsing off the potatoes. Now it's time to prep. The salmon. It's a big piece of salmon. Ah. What am I looking for? All right, I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. Let's put this in the middle. Let's move that right there. This is, I guess, some flavored butter that was included in a salmon packet. All right, I'm going to place that right there. Move up this way. All right. I'm gonna put a little oil on these potatoes. Just a little bit. Pepper on the potatoes. Salt on the potatoes. I'm debating should I put broccoli in there or not. Because my broccoli isn't really frozen. It's kind of soft because my refrigerator is not set for it to be like freezing freezing stuff hmm i'm thinking i'm just gonna go ahead with the salmon and the potatoes 
I have a protein and I have a vegetable. Uh, broccoli is just another added uh, vegetable. So I'm gonna go with this. Should I put a little oil on the, I think I'm gonna put a little oil on the bottom. Cause I don't want it to burn. I remember when I made this at Hillside, the campsite in Pennsylvania, the potatoes, the potatoes were stuck to the aluminum foil. <laughs> All right. So I put it face down so the seams and everything on the first layer is on the opposite side so that during the cooking process, I can flip it over. Okay, that feels nice and solid and sound. During the cooking process, I'll be able to flip it over so that the opposite side can get some cook time on it as well. Okay, now that the food is prepped, let's move on to this Gotham Grill. Okay, the way that this works is you're supposed to fill the drip pan with water so that if like any grease or any juices come from the packet or if I was to cook directly on top of here, the juices, the way it's built, the juices will flow off of here in between these little holes and into the drip pan. I'm not even sure if I really need water in here this particular time because I'm not cooking directly on top of it. I'm cooking it in a packet. So I might just be able to sit it on here like that and cook it. I don't think I'm gonna put no water in it because this thing is sealed tight. I don't think any juices are going to leak out of it. And if it does, it's not gonna be that much and I'll just go ahead and clean it up. But the water just helps you to clean it up easier because the juices will fall into the water. Alrighty. I'm 
I'm gonna let that heat up for a, a minute or so before I actually put the food on there. Now, I don't even know what side is. I think I put it on this side first. Yeah, because I flipped it over. This should mean that the, the top, the bottom should be on top of there, I think. Maybe I don't want the bottom on top of there. Who knows? Now this thing claims that this, the top of this don't need no oil, don't need nothing, no butter or anything, but you know what? I'm going in on it with a little oil. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. Better safe than sorry. All right, let's go ahead and place this on here. I'm gonna go this way first. Now, I don't have any idea how long to keep this on here. <laughs> and the bad part about it is you don't wanna keep opening it, checking it, and letting the heat out. So, I'm not even sure what time it is right now, but when I stop this uh, part of the video, I'll check and see. I think I'm gonna leave it on there until, until my intuition tell me <laughs> to take it off. So I don't know. All right, but I'll check back with you guys once I open it up. All right, guys, it's been about 15, 20 minutes now. It, it's, it's hot on the top. I can hear it sizzling. So it's well on its way being cooked. I'm not worried about the salmon getting done because I know the salmon is going to get done. Uh, I just want to make sure that the potatoes are done. And I think that they will be. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give it a flip because like I said, well, I'm going to wait another 10 minutes because I plan on keeping it on here all total, maybe about an hour. That might be too long, but but I wanna make sure that those potatoes are done. And I don't wanna open this up and have to close it back, let all the heat out and close it back up and put it back on. So I'm trying to guesstimate as good as I can. All right, guys, it's time to give it its first flip. It's been about 10 more minutes since the last I came on. It's really hot on top and it smells really good. Oh, it smells good. I don't know what that little butter circle was made out of, uh, but it smells good. All right, first flip. That's a really good sign because it's, it's not burnt or anything. So maybe they are right when they say you don't need no oil or no butter on it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's really hot. All right, I probably do maybe about two more flips, like ten minute uh, integrals, and again, I'm just I'm just guessing it out here. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I finally thought of the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys, and I don't know how I forgot this. All right, I am so excited because tomorrow. Okay, you guys know how I love the uh, circus delays, right? Well, tomorrow, I am going to see a show that I have never seen before. I've been wanting to go to this show for about a year now and never managed to go to it. And I'm so excited that I'm going to see this show tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, I am going to see the Shen Young Show. Now, if you don't know what the Shen Young Show is, I'll put a little promo right here if I can remember. And it is going, oh man, it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to go and see it. So tomorrow, there'll be no video. I'll be going to the Shen Young show in Lakeland, Florida. And man, oh man, I'm a, I think that I'm going to feel the same excitement and have the same results as I do when I go see a uh, Circus Soleil show. So 
pretty excited. I'm gonna give this about five to 10 more minutes and then we're just gonna cross our fingers and go for it. Okay guys, the moment of truth is here. It's been on for about 30 minutes now. As a matter of fact, 30 minutes. And it's time. I know that fish is done because I can smell it through the aluminum foil. The question is, is the potatoes done? Again, they don't need to be hard and grilled as long as they are soft and done. That's okay with me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off now. I'm gonna eat this right out of the aluminum foil packet. Okay, here's the big reveal. closer <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see this or not okay the fish is nice and tender. You see how I put the fork in? Look. Look at that. Nice and tender. The potatoes are soft. I'm gonna taste one. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. Oh boy. Get me a drink. Oh boy, this looks, oh my goodness, this looks so good. I'm definitely gonna put some more pepper on here, whether it needs it or not, because y'all know how I feel about my pepper. Also, I'm gonna put some hot sauce on here. This is a big piece of fish. I should have got like a filet, one of those smaller ones. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wowza. Whatever that circle butter packet was made out of, Woo! I can taste it on the um, potatoes. Oh, these potatoes are delicious. Oh my goodness, wow. Mm. Oh my gosh, I am not lying. If I'm lying, I'm flying and I can't fly. These potatoes, are, man, make me think I should have fixed some more. Mmm. Oh my God. So good. Let me lift y'all up a little bit. All right. Let's try some of this fish. This salmon. When I tell you, when I tell you this salmon melts in my mouth, it melts in my mouth. Yes, yes, 
Yes, I did it. Oh my God. Wowza, wowza, wowza. This salmon melts in my mouth. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I am so, this is the best way to make salmon. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, salmon and potatoes. Mm, mm, mm. And if you can find that salmon, uh-oh, <laughs> i get that later. If you can find a salmon that already has that little butter packet in it, man, that's all the better. I'm quite sure you can mix up a little concoction and put it in there with your salmon, but it's, it's a lot convenient when it's already there. Mmm. Oh, boy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wowza. This is absolutely delicious. Mm -mm. Oh my God. Oh, that's so, so, so refreshing. Oh boy. And one thing about salmon that I've learned is that you don't need a lot of seasoning on salmon. All you need is some salt and pepper. I don't need no garlic sauce. I don't the garlic powder, no onion powder, just simple salt and pepper. Just like a steak, just simple salt and pepper. Salt, 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 salt and pepper's here. Salt, salt, salt. <laughs> this is good, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I believe this in the, the description. So if y'all want to check that out. Then the next time I use that, I'm either going to fix a steak on there or some hamburgers and hot dogs on there. Mm. This is so good. Wowza, wowza, wowza. Mmm. Woo! Cut those potatoes up in small pieces, man, so they can get done. And it worked out perfectly. This is the bomb right here. Whatever that means. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for the video because the only thing left is for me to finish my dinner. But man, oh man, this is so delicious. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.